time do you have class today? I need to go outside. <laughs> she always yells at me about not getting my dirty clothes in the laundry room. Clean your room. Clean your room. Make your bed. Do you want anything from the grocery store? What do you want to eat? You slept how late? Oh, feed the chickens. Oh, feed yes. Feed the chickens and feed the cat every day. Girl, if you need me, I'll be outside cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> She's a teacher right now, and it's cool seeing her do stuff with her kids online. She is just a very genuine you know, what you see is what you get, and I'm proud of her for that. I'm trying not to be something she's not, I appreciate that. If she commits to something, she sees it through. Even if it's inconvenient for her, if she gives you her word, then she'll do it. Everything that she does, like feeds me, gives me a house, I'm sleeping. How hard she works and how much she loves, like she always goes like 100%. That's a selfless person. She quit teaching for a while, just, you know, be home with us and I mean I used to you know think why don't you want to you know go out and be a strong woman and you know do your you know have your own career but I look back on that now as a you know an aged adult and I'm just so thankful that she did that for us because it's a hard worker how hard she works proud of her because I got to see her be it like her and her element being a doctor firsthand over Christmas break and my mom's not just a good doctor she's a great doctor and so just seeing her really working with the patients and just explaining everything to them to carry for them on levels that like I didn't even expect any doctor to care for their patients I was like oh mom kind of along those same lines um she's she's one of the hardest working people that I know so I strive to be just like even half as hard as work as my mother is because I mean every day she works her butt off no matter what she does. We're like in a lot of ways I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we just are. <laughs> We're both hard workers. Definitely our personalities. We're so alike. I've had so many people tell us we're carbon copies. We're stubborn. Both like coffee and and especially Duncan Coffee, we have an unhealthy obsession. She doesn't talk as much as Samantha and Dad do, so I'm a little <laughs> more, a little more laid back like her. Both like spending money, and going to the beach. We can both be very assertive and very like straight to the point, um, but she can also be really goofy. We just love to goof around with each other. We both like a lot of the same things. It's really easy to shop for her because I can just like pick out something. That I kind of like, and I'm like, okay, then she definitely like that. We both enjoy like family time and time at the beach. I don't know. We're pretty we're very similar. My mom is very patient, and I get my patience from my mom. My mom has a very, very long fuse. I am much louder. Yeah, um, I'm the opposite. I, I'm very impatient. I'm <laughs> so, <laughs> so sometimes when my mom and I don't get along. I'm already impatient, then I push her to the point past her long fuse, and then it's not good, but... She probably likes to keep things cleaner than I do. She would like me to study more than I do. I think I'm more laid back than she is about a lot of things. We look nothing alike at all. We'll think I'm adopted when it's just me and her. I'm a lot taller than her. I'm a lot shorter than she is. But I think I'm more patient than she is. I can hear her, you know, now watching this thing. Ah, you're, you're not. I don't worry as much as she does. She likes to shop. She loves anything with stripes. <laughs> anything in her wardrobe has stripes. We make fun of her about it. <laughs> to be organized. Treat people the way you would want to be treated. Always rinse the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Mother's love really is unconditional. You know, there really isn't anything that I could do or say that would cause her to love me any less. She always tells me to pray about it. Treat other people good. Work hard in school and in life and that 
she'll always be there. Faithful wife. Whatever you do, I mean, you put your full heart into it. You know, once you're committed, you're committed 100%. She's a big prayer warrior. She's taught Grace and I to be a big, big prayer warrior. So. Go to Goodwill or the thrift shop in Somerville. She would buy a lake house right on either Lake Hartwell or Lake Huey um, with the back porch overlooking Death Valley Stadium so she could hear Clemson football every single Saturday in the fall. Buy a house on the beach. <laughs> well, first you probably pay my school. Buy a farm and rescue a bunch of animals. My mom is a sucker for rescue animals. Like we cannot take my mom to the pound because we'd come home with 60 dogs. Adopt like a hundred dogs. Probably go shopping. Spend it all at Target. Buy a beach house. Buy a beach house at Folly, but not just any beach house, it'd be a front beach house. And then a lifetime supply of peach salsa. He would probably buy $500,000 worth of Mountain Dew. But I agree with the Mountain Dew thing. And spend the other half on Darren, probably. I think she'd spend a lot of money on Kyle, too. Sure, you okay. <laughs> um, like, she'd plan a vacation to see all the national parks. Oh my gosh. America. Yeah, she'd buy an RV. <laughs> she'd be like, Drew, get in the RV. We are going to the national parks. <laughs> like do something boring with the rest of it, like put it in savings or something. I